Hey, there's a lot of pressure to get this house finished and it's getting hot, but this will help cool things down. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. So who isn't interested in saving money? You know that most of the energy that we use in our homes really goes to heating and cooling the house. Well today, these guys are installing the mini split system. It's kind of a cross between conventional central heat and air and the old fashioned window unit. So how's it going up there, Dustin? We're good, Alex. Good, come on down. So tell me, what, the, what is this unit here? What this is, is this is your evaporator, which is your indoor unit, which you would have in your typical household that would normally be in an attic or in a closet or under your house. Right. Here, it's going to be on your wall, and you will have no duct work. Duct work is um, sort of a culprit in, in central heat and air systems. Yes, you it lose is. a lot of energy. And you, you lose, lose cool, or, cool air or warm air through the duct system. You, you lose about 40% in some places. Mm. It's, uh, That's not it, very efficient. It hurts your wallet pretty good sometimes. <laughs> it does. <laughs> So with the mini split, you're actually investing in the future because Absolutely. you know you're going to spend a little more up front than you would for a standard heat and air system, but over time it pays for itself. Yeah, that it does. Yeah, that it does. So what sort of energy efficiency can we see with this? Well, um, there's what's called a SEER rating, seasonal energy efficiency ratio, mm -hmm. and the standard just for typical systems is around 13. This right here is 16, and they can sometimes, depending on how you use it, can go as far up to 19 or 21. Mm -hmm. So, is that percent savings, or is that their their rating or their gauge? That's basically their rating of how right. how well it works and how much energy you will save. Right, Dustin. I have to admit, when we talked about these initially, I wasn't sure if I was going to like these being mounted on the wall but I painted the color of the wall the same as the unit, so hopefully you don't really draw attention to it. The beautiful thing is, is it's very quiet too, you'll never hear it. Now this right here is a wall unit, and right over here we have a ceiling unit. Oh, okay, you're about to put it in, huh? The ceiling units I like a lot better because you don't see them. Justin, this unit will actually cool and heat this, this room, the kitchen. Absolutely. As a, as a ceiling mount, which I, I like. <laughs> <laughs> this unit right here is flush mounted to the ceiling. It's not hanging off the wall as the other one is. They serve the exact same purpose. As you can see, it's just flush to the ceiling. And for this room, this looks like it'll, it's set to blow air in four different directions. That is correct. Here, here, every direction, mm -hmm. and this is your return. Hmm. So I know you guys have been working outside. Uh, maybe we could go out and take a look at the condensing unit so our viewers would get a little better idea of how these mini splits work. Absolutely. Okay, come on, let's go. Dustin, this is a condenser that gets mounted out here just like a conventional central heat and air system, right? That's right. Okay, and so you're going to place it right here? Yes, sir. Right here. Um, this whole unit will power everything, all eight evaporators inside. Really? Mm -hmm. Right, and it understands the fact that we can change the temperature in every single room. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You know, Dustin, one of the things that really caught my attention about these units is that they're so quiet. They're very quiet. You almost have to be standing right next to it just to even hear Yeah, it. put your hand down here and actually feel the air. Mm -hmm. Now, what about maintenance? Uh, how, how frequently should it be checked out? Uh, just basically like your typical system, it should be checked out twice a year, um, right before you go into the summer season, right for before cooling. you go into, for cooling, right. and right before you go into the winter season for heating. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. It's no problem. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> Hey, if you're enjoying these segments on how to save energy with your home, check in regularly. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. <laughs>